the same can't be said about his father-in-law, King Charles III. Today, a shocking event occurred, with Queen Camilla and her son revealing startling details about King Charles' health. Plunging the future of the British monarchy into uncertainty This not only upset the royal family, but also sparked widespread speculation about Charles' ability to continue leading in the coming years. The King and Queen are due to visit Samoa, Australia next month, which is said to be a major test of Prince Charles' patience during his reign. Prince Charles was reportedly frail and overworked during his cancer treatment. Will Camilla be successful in urging him to slow down due to health issues? Camilla's son Tom Parker Bowles, in a short announcement, gave an unusual health update on His Majesty's condition, summarizing everything bluntly. The words answered comprehensively and spoke about how his mother dealt with the diagnosis. Enough to look at the photo today compared to a year ago. It is clear that he has lost a lot of weight and has aged significantly. Camilla told him he needs to take a break, but he's a workaholic. He doesn't listen to the press. It's hard to ignore the signs of the wear and tear that the events of this year have left on the king. You only have four days to see their majesties, and then only if they live in Sydney or Canada, there are no nightly engagements at all. One of the few regular visual choreography we see is when their majesties are at Government House Charles and Camilla are also attending a community barbecue in western Sydney, but these types of appointments are very different from the public. Forward-thinking events that the royals are known for when they make these types of trips. They will be shaking hands at all kinds of events, from informal to formal. This new schedule reflects the king's current health status. He has a type of cancer that has not yet been made public. He is allowed to rest and relax between appointments. The Crown Corporation is not on anything yet, unless it is realistic. I would be surprised if someone claiming to be an old friend of the family told me that the King's condition is worse than they thought. Before the shocking news came that planning for the King's own death had already begun, they are worried that he is frail and has too much work. King's numerous royal appointments are also reportedly worrying his wife, Camilla Parker, given the strain of his cancer diagnosis earlier this year. Eggs, of course, he is determined to defeat it and they will throw everything at it. Everyone remains optimistic, but he is really, really, in worse shape than they say. Sources said that's why Prince Harry flew in from California three days later and why the royals agreed to meet with him in February when the world was reeling. Of course, with Catherine's recovery, the prince is back, and he has a much higher profile than his father. Reports said William sprung into action. Prince William, who has been resting in recent weeks ahead of his Australian tour, is due to resume international travel from Long Haul when he travels to South Africa for the Earthshot Awards in early November. It is expected to be a high-profile event for Harry. The timing of his father's reign is particularly problematic because, as Harry and his team like to say, there can be no meaningful rehabilitation without it, which would allow Harry to make the most of his influence to emerge as a global social activist and do good deeds. A peace agreement will be negotiated with the family's institution. There can be no meaningful rehabilitation for the Duke of Sussex unless a peace agreement is negotiated with the family's institution. And the truth is that Harry is more capable of negotiating an agreement with Charles III. According to official sources, the couple feel betrayed and left behind by the royal family's actions, but royal experts are waiting for the royal family's decision to strip Prince Harry of his royal titles.